after securing his win in the possible Disney takeover and, and defeating Nelson Peltz, Bob Iger, CEO of the Walt Disney Company, said that it's not Disney's agenda or their mission to advance any type of messaging or agenda. And that's laughable. That is absolutely laughable when you look at, you know, this is such an example of saying the right thing, but not meaning it in any way or having nothing to back it up. Got an article here from Twitchy. It says, back when the then CEO of Disney didn't voice his opposition to Florida's parental rights and education law, Disney employees were so upset that they had to hold a special all-hands meeting to clarify the company's position. One producer tried to calm people down by assuring them that she was adding queerness wherever she could. Now, again, this is an executive producer. Take a look. It's like I love Disney's content. I grew up watching, you know, all of the classics. They have been a huge, like, informative <laughs> part of my life. But at the same time, like, I worked at small studios most of my career, and I'd heard, you know, you hear whispers. Like, I, I'd heard things like, oh, you know, they won't let you show this at a Disney show. And I'm like, okay. So I was a little, like, sus when I started. And, but then my experience was bafflingly the opposite. Here you go of what I had heard on my little pocket of like, you know, proud family, Disney TVA. Um, the showrunners were super welcoming Meredith Roberts and like the, the, our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my, like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like, I, I feel like not at all secret gay agenda. So welcoming. They want her to do this. Uh, the article tells us Disney corporate president, Carrie Burke, who has one transgender child and one pansexual child called for a minimum of 50% of characters to be LGBTQIA. They keep adding letters. I forgot the plus there and racial minorities, 50%, 50% corporate president wants 50% of the characters in all of their entertainment to be LGBTQIA and racial minorities. But the Disney CEO, Bob Iger yesterday says that there is no not at all secret gay agenda. He maintains that it's not Disney's job to advance any kind of agenda. That is political speech at its finest. Does he mean that? Absolutely not. There's no way. It's in too much of their stuff. Just look at all of these showrunners that they continue to hire. The gentleman who did X-Men 97 that recently got fired. Leslie Headland. The casting of Star Wars, The Acolyte, they are pushing this and cramming this down people's throats. It's wrong. It's evil. And we as fans and, and consumers cannot allow Bob Iger to pull the wool over our eyes where he says one thing because it's what he knows people want to hear. But there's no follow through. There has to be follow through. Disney is certainly uh, worthy of having Disney Plus canceled. I love that hashtag movement. One of our one of our brothers here at the channel uh, is always posting hashtag cancel Disney Plus until they get their crap right. Bob Iger, uh, he's lucky he won yesterday. He's lucky he won. One day he won't, or his successor won't, if they don't change it. We are eventually going to make uh, a shift in this country where we move back to the thinking of the past. Uh, we're going to get so out of our minds and radical that it's going to become extremely distasteful. People are getting tired of it already. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. You know, uh, Bob Iger flat out lying. And he's done this for years. He's done this for years. So, and here's the other thing. If you're not somebody, like, like, let's say that you're somebody who appreciates what this lady here said, the LGBTQIA plus agenda, racial agenda, DEI, diversity, you know, inclusion, everything going on. Is it not insulting to you that Bob Iger, your leader, just said it's our job not to advance any kind of agenda? We don't want to do that. We're about entertainment. We're not about uh, here's the quote right here. Our job is to entertain first and foremost about telling great stories. We continue to have a positive impact on the world and inspire future generations, just as we've done for over a hundred years. Disney has always been 
been and will continue to be a source of hope, joy, and optimism for people of all ages. We're committed to telling stories that reflect the world around us and using those stories to entertain people from all walks of life. Well, that in in and of itself sounds political to me. That's DEI right there. But he's saying, but he says it, it's not our job. You know, we want to stay out of politics. We want to stay out of the messaging and we have no agenda, but you clearly do. So that's, that's talking out of both sides of your mouth. That's what he's good at. And those are the people that he hires, by the way. That's what Kathleen Kennedy does at, at Lucasfilm. She speaks out of both sides of her mouth. She, she says things that she knows that people wants to hear on both sides of the aisle, but then she only does things that only one side of the aisle wants because that is their agenda. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'll see you guys on the next one.